Welcome. We're going to graph the line y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6. How are we going to do this? We're going to use the slope and y-intercept method. So, let's recall that slope is equal to m. In this case, it's negative 3 over 2. How do we know? Well, we look at the leading coefficient in front of the x. It is negative 3 divided by 2. What this means is, between two consecutive y values, you go down three units. Between two consecutive x values, you're going to go two units to your right. We also need to recall that the y-intercept is positive 6. How do you know? You look at the b value. It is positive 6, so 0 comma b means 0 comma positive 6 is our y-intercept. Now that we know the slope and what the y-intercept is, let's use our graph and plot several key points on it. Let's begin with the y-intercept. How do we plot it? Well, we start at the origin and we'll go six units up. So that's our first point, the y-intercept, 0 comma 6. To find the second point, what do we need to do? Use the slope. So what do we need? Well, we need to go down three units and two to the right. So again, what do we do? Start at the y-intercept, three units down, and two units to the right. How do we find the third point? Repeat the process. Go three units down and two units to your right. Again, three units down and two units to your right. Now, we didn't have to, but if you wanted to, you could have gone from the y-intercept and found a left point. What did you need to do? Again, work in reverse. In this case, you would have had to gone two units to the left and three units up. And if you did that, you realize, well, you go down three, across two, down three, across two, down three, across two. And once you've done that, now you're ready to draw a line through all of these points, like so. Therefore, when you graph the line y equals negative three halves x plus six, you should get something that looks like this.